What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video we're creating a sketch illustration of Gengar from Pokemon. We're going to begin by defining the size of our character by drawing a large oval in the center of our page. Now use a side grip using the flat edge of our pencil. Let's start at the very top. It's going to work our way along the left side. Going out, rounding out the side of the oval, and then pulling that in towards the middle. Go back up to the top and work our way around the right side. I'm just using these short choppy lines to create this oval. I'm just going to go back and just redefine the shape. Now that we have our oval in place, let's add some guidelines. We're going to start with a straight line coming down the center of the oval, starting from the very top. I'm just going to come down the middle towards the bottom of our page, and then we'll extend that up towards the top. And we'll add another guideline going across from left to right across the middle of that oval and just extend that out towards the sides. Now from here we're going to start blocking out the facial features. Let's take the center line, step up, and draw another line going across. And then we're going to leave a large gap in between the eyes, start over on the left, draw a straight angle line going up and out towards the side of the oval. Take that same distance over on the right and do the same thing. Let's draw the bottom edge of the eyes. On the left side, we're going to step in, curve the eye coming down, almost like drawing a half circle. I'm just going to come down towards that center line, and then pull that up towards the inside. And we'll do the same thing on the right. And now we're going to move down and draw the top edge of the mouth, starting on the left side, curve down, in towards the middle, and then bend that up towards the right. Now we're going to draw the bottom edge of the mouth, leaving an overlap on the outside. So on the left, we're going to step in, curve the mouth coming down, rounding this out, and then pulling that back up on the right. Let's separate out the teeth. Leaving a gap in the center, go to the left side, draw a straight line coming down, do the same thing on the right, and we'll add one more line on either side. Now we're going to go back up and add in the pupils. From the inside of the left eye, we're going to step out, draw a thin oval, coming down, and then back up towards the top. Let's do the same thing on the right. Now that we complete the face, let's move down and draw on the legs. We're going to overlap the left leg on top of the body. So let's start out here and draw an oval, going all the way around, and then back up. And we'll just smooth that out. And then from the inside of the oval, we're just going to curve this up and in towards the bottom of the body. And now we want to tuck the right leg underneath the body. Let's start down here and draw a half oval. Coming down, up the side, and then in towards the side of the body. Now because the left leg is pushed forward, we want to see the bottom of the left foot. So let's start along the bottom and draw in a small oval. And then we'll separate out the toes, starting from the top, angle down and out toward the left and right, angle up and out. Now moving over, we see the top of the right foot tucked in underneath the leg. So let's start down here, I'm just going to curve this down and in, go out and up. Now we're going to do that two more times, coming down and in, go up, and then one last time. Let's go back to that center line, move over towards the left, curve the tail, coming down and out towards the left. And I'm just going to taper that up on the right side. Now let's move back up and draw the arm stretched out towards the side. From the left side of this line, angle up and out, go to the right, and do the same thing. Let's flatten off the ends with a short angled line. And we'll curve the arm, coming down, and then bending that in towards the side of the body. And we'll go back and separate out the fingers, starting from the top, 
Draw a straight line coming down, go straight out, come down and then in, and straight out. Do the same thing on the right. Let's continue working our way up towards those two large horns. We're going to start on the left side of the head, draw a straight angle line, going up and out to right about there. Go to the right side and do the same thing. And then from the tip of the horn, we're going to angle down and in towards the side of the head, just up on top of the arms. And now we're going to add those spikes in the center of the head. From that center line, move over towards the right, angle up and out towards the left, come down and in towards the top of the head. Let's add a smaller spike on the left side. We're going to step in, angle up and out, come down and in towards the inside of the left spike. Let's add two more spikes on the right side. From this point, we're going to step up, angle up and out, come down and in towards the top of the head. Now we're going to step up, draw one more, going up and out, and down and in. Once we're happy with the general proportions of our drawing, I'm going to go back and lightly erase some of these guidelines. Now let's go in with the tip of our pencil and trace our drawing and refine the lines. We're going to start with the eyes. And you can see that I'm not trying to trace this out with one continuous line. I'm just using these short lines going all the way around.
I'm just going in with the side edge of my pencil and adding a light shade to the inside of the eyes. And we'll darken up the bottom edge and just fade that out going up just to give the eye some roundness. Now we're going in and just adding a light shadow along the bottom edge of the body and then just fading that out as we go up. And this will help give our character some shape and form. And just working that shadow around the leg. And shading in the inside.
And as we get near the end of our drawing, I'm just gonna add a little bit more detail and tighten up my shadows. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of Gengar. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.